Welcome to your night out at home. Join us for a variety of live events and virtual experiences from the comfort of your favorite viewing spot. The Your Night Out at Home series shines a virtual spotlight on our parks and arts partners. Night Out partners offer performances, workshops, educational explorations, and more. Everyone is welcome to tune in. And if you enjoy the show, share it. Hello everyone and welcome to Jazz City 2022. We are here at the beautiful Garfield Park Conservatory and it was our hope and our, our great wish that we would all be together but circumstances proved otherwise. So we're coming at you hopefully in your home, in your office, someplace safe and warm and just bringing you the beautiful vibes of this beautiful space. Tonight is extra special for a lot of different reasons. Those that have been with us for a long time know that Jazz City usually kicks off with this concert at the Garfield Park Conservatory in celebration of Women's History Month. This year is not a lot different, just a little bit different, but this year we are celebrating Lil Hardin Armstrong. This year marks the 100th anniversary of Louis Armstrong's arrival to Chicago. And most people know without Lil, there would be no Lewis. So we are celebrating her as a piano player, a composer, a band leader, and a woman with a vision who turned Louis Armstrong into the musician that we think of today. The other reason tonight is a little bit special is because it's the 25th anniversary of this wonderful partnership that we have with the Chicago Park District. So we'll be celebrating Lewis and celebrating our 25th anniversary of Jazz City all year long. Now, usually what I do as well is ask all of our members to stand up. So if you're a member at home, feel free to stand up right now. What we have tonight, too, is some special content. All Jazz Institute members will get a special link to an after-concert jam session with our two musicians from tonight. We also did a quick interview that we're calling Take Five, where I asked both of them five questions. If you're not a member and you're feeling a little sad right now that you're not going to get that exclusive content, become a member today. You can go to our website, jazzinchicago.org. We'll put the link below. You can go to Facebook. You're probably watching on Facebook right now and become a member and get that special content and all the other perks that we have. So tonight, without further ado, we have two special Southside girls. I'm a Southside gal as well, tributing women musicians, specifically Lil Hardin Armstrong. First up, you're gonna see Alexis Lombre. And after that, we've got Bethany Pickens. So enjoy.
Hello, Chicago. Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing? We are so thrilled and honored and excited to be here. Um, we are here to honor the legacy of the great Lil Hardin Armstrong, as well as show a connection to um, other great women, Chicago jazz pianists. Um, I'm also super excited to hear Miss Bethany Pickens tonight. Um, but for now, we just have uh, Mr. Bobby Wonderful on the trumpet. Woohoo! <laughs> I know you guys are clapping at home too. We got Gabe Alston on the drums. Steve Manns on the bass. What up? And my name is Alexis Lombre, and I play the piano. Thank you. So the first song we played, um, it was a medley of Kendrick Lamar's For Free mixed with my composition Blues and Tyne, which is a tribute to McCoy Tyner. But um, I played them both because they were in the same key and I thought it'd be fun. Um, and then we played a famous, one of Lil Harder Armstrong's most famous compositions called Just For A Thrill. That was her song. That was her song. A lot of people don't know that. Um, she wrote that hit that Ray Charles sang, Aretha Franklin sang, Nancy Wilson. This was her main hit, as well as it's the name of her um, biography that you guys should check out called Just For a Thrill. Anyways, we are going to continue with another composition of mine entitled Lonely Path off of my album Southside Sounds. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks.
Thank you, thank you. Um, that was our version of Strutting with Some Barbecue, which was Lil Hardin's song. Louis Armstrong made it famous, but she wrote it. Um, Lil Hardin was a great composer and a great performer and extremely well educated. And <clears throat> a, lot of, a lot of what she's known for is how she modernized the way Louis Armstrong performed. And um, I would just like to give her her due credit because a lot of people would say without her, Louis Armstrong would just be a guy from the South. Even though Louis Armstrong had a lot of his own talent, you know, Lil was the one who was, you know, more educated and was able to show him like, okay, let's, let's get this, this Southern stuff up off you and, you know, modernize you and get you ready to be the star that you are. And she was her, his backbone and the person who pushed him forward. So, um, and I just decided to, we all decided to make an arrangement out of it because it's a hundred years. We're celebrating the hundred year of her coming to Chicago. And I don't know, I just, I just don't imagine playing the same song a hundred years the same way. Um, I feel like that's this jazz is different than that, but I don't want to get into an argument. Anyways, um, we just were trying to modernize and just trying some new stuff because it's fun. Um, so our last song is going to be another arrangement in which I did something a new, a little different to an old standard called Caravan um, that's on my album Southside Sounds. Uh, once again, we are so honored to be here and we hope that you enjoy. We hope that, you, that we took you on an experience and we thank you for keeping an open mind with us this evening. Give it up for Bobby Wonderful on the trumpet. Gabe Alston on the drums. Steve Manns on the bass. And my name is Alexis Lombre and I play piano. Thank you.
again so much. Thanks again so much for having us. Uh, Bobby Wonderful on trumpet, Gabe Alston on drums, Steve Manns on bass, Alexis Lombre on piano. Don't go anywhere, because y'all about to see Bethany Pickens, and that's going to be killing. Uh, and we're going to have a bunch of fun later, so thank you. Thank you, Alexis. Wow. And next up, we've got Bethany Pickens. Don't forget, if you're not a member, now is a great chance to join by visiting our website, www.jazzinchicago.org, or just Google Jazz in Chicago, and you can find us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks, y'all.
in Chicago. First, got to give a shout out because we're actually recording on Chicago's birthday. I love my city. A lot of tradition here. Uh, Alexis and I are going to be talking about our connection a little bit later, but we're both products of Chicago Public Schools. And she was actually one of my students as an elementary school student. And uh, we've had the pleasure of working with the same tutelage, by the way. She's later caught up with my dad at Ravinia. And now she's going to be doing some fantastic stuff with Mr. Marcus Miller. Through the hard work and dedication of our tradition. And one thing about Lil Hardin, she was always one that was supportive, made her husband a star. That's what Chicago is always about. Lenny's tradition, love, and legacy. This is a more original music. The first one we did was entitled Straight Ahead. This one's entitled Something You Said, and I hope it's something that you like.
some more original music. This one's entitled Seven Questions. It's also on my debut CD, which you can pick up uh, many ways. I guess the preference for most artists is directly from their website. <laughs> and, uh, but you can find it in all the different for formats if you do the whole Spotify thing. And somebody even posted it on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> but uh, um, one of the things that uh, my, my father, I come from a second generation, and we were just talking about that with Alexis. And um, Willie Pickens, my dad, uh, was uh, very encouraging of my, my writing. That's really my passion is, is, is original music. So that's what you're going to be hearing this evening. Uh, and Lillian Lil Harden was the, uh, one of the first that I later found out to, to, to actually do this kind of thing, to take a leadership role as an instrumentalist. That wasn't that common during her time. And, um, and she encouraged um, her husband, Louis Armstrong, to create music as well. And so, um, uh, Alexis touched on that earlier today, so I uh, struggled with some barbecue on that collaboration. Speaking of collaboration, Chicago is one of the co most collaborative cities in the world. Uh, we uh, have the pleasure of uh, working in conjunction with the Jazz Institute of Chicago, as well as the Chicago Park District at this wonderful Garfield Conservatory. It's a wonderful, wonderful place. We feel like we're outside, even though it uh, feels a little bit like February still in Chicago. But uh, we love it here, and it's a beautiful place to be. So come on by when you get a chance, and uh, also visit jazzinstitutejic.org and get more information about what they do around the city. Um, Speaking of collaborations, I can't go without um, congratulations, City Council, for doing what I thought was the best thing to understand that Jean Baptiste Pont de Sable is a very important part of Chicago. One of the first collaborators to work with the uh, indigenous people here to create merchant. Dice, which are the, where the merchandise market is at right now. But I could go on. I've got my teacher hat on right now. Let's go back to what I came to do. All right.
introduce the band. Tonight I got Mr. Vajan Johnson on the bass. You might have seen him, a lot of people, especially most recently, Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Thank goodness Mr. Ramsey Lewis has abbreviated his touring schedule because now I have Charles Heath with me on the drums.
new music. It's not on my record.
Okay, so the one that might be more recognizable by the title is the Brazilian Breeze. Had the one that little had the Latin flavor. That was followed by You Can't Make Me. A little air radio type uh, friendly. And then uh, behind that one was some more new music that's not on my CD. Uh, this, I, I call that second movement because it belongs to some other stuff that we haven't played yet. So um, just experimenting with some music. That's one of the great things about being in this city. It's a lot of things culturally going on, you know, so constantly 24 seven. Now that we can get out and about, please do so. I love my city. It's a beautiful city, so much to see. You know, like if you're driving along the, 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 the part that we now call uh, DuSable Drive, you get to see one of the best lakes, lake fronts in the world. There's nothing like Chicago in the summertime, so we're getting close to that. That's why I was trying to place music to warm you up. And this one is entitled uh, Mother of the River. Uh, I had the opportunity to do another Chicago Musician Ed Wilkerson wasn't available to score this film uh, called Mother of the River. It was the title of the film, but this was actually in incidental music, and I thought it might go well in a, in a more of a different setting. So this is what this is from.
have enjoyed our time together. I hope you are enjoying yourself as well. It's kind of weird watching this quarter live. But uh, we're having a good time. There's a lot of warmth in the building. While we're here, we're hoping it's coming out your way as well. This last one is entitled, I Can Take You There. And I hope it uh, puts you in a place where it feels good.
place. Thank you on behalf of Jazz Institute of Chicago. What a night, what a celebration of women in music, and what a celebration of this wonderful city of ours, Chicago. Thank you all for being here. We are so grateful to our members and people that tune in to keep live music going. We will see you in June. Jazz City is coming back live and in person. We'll be at Columbus Park. The Latin Jazz Festival is coming back in July. We've got a November concert and a December concert. So we will see you in person very soon. Have a good night, everybody.